Namaste, beautiful yogis. Hola, hola, hola. Hola. Aloha. <laughs> we are living in a tiny house. No, not really a tiny house. It's an airstream uh, in a hot spring uh, place. Let me show you the place. It's so cute. It's That's all it is, but it's so tuned in. Obviously, we kind of reno <laughs> redid everything for baby. Uh, but it just has everything, kind of all the um, cupboards are... It's like living in a boat basically because everything's, everything's kind of nailed down. Like all the cabinets are real hard to pull open. And yeah. So it's and almost like baby proof naturally. And it's, and it's rounded. And everything's rounded. And there is storage under the couch, storage under the refrigerator, a decent sized refrigerator. She is learning to walk actually. Now she's not interested in crawling. And um, this in size, um, that's a wardrobe and storage for clothes there. So everything is pretty nice. And that's our outside. It's real pretty. We're in a hot spring. There is more storage here. So it's really cute. It's, it's really, really, really... Oh, and it has a small bathroom. And even a shower. The shower is small as well. I don't even know how to open it. Clearly I haven't gotten in because I showered yesterday in the hot spring showers. But it has a shower in it. If you're traveling without hot springs. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. I love it. But this is something I totally would love to have. You press the button, Johnny, by the way. And it opens. And look at this. It's an integrated spice rack. Well, it's not necessarily a spice rack. You put all kinds of bottles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like rice. Yeah, yeah, everything. But it's like so good because basically I, I saw it in a magazine one time uh, for small small living. Yeah. And they called it a spice rack. I saw it how to make it basically. I saw a tutorial on exactly how to make this. Because you have just this little space. Yeah. But look how much you can put in there. I mean, the way this place is designed, it's literally like, like being on a boat. Like my aunt lived on her boat. Mm -hmm. sailboat, and it was the same way. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, little walker? To get baby out of, out from out under the table. So daddy is doing daddy parenting so tricks. Look, I put my coffee down, and, and I really don't want her to come take the coffee. <laughs> it's best that she doesn't. So It's just better that she doesn't come try and take my coffee. <laughs> because I... She... she I don't want her doing the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> now she's from the, she came out from under the table. Hey baby, good job mama, good job. Where's she going now? I have no idea. We are ready with matching hats. So these are the, the Mercy Hot Springs grounds. And then there's a bunch of springs over there. Um, and then that building right there was built in like the 1800s. This was a hot spring. Uh, it's been a hot spring for a while. And then uh, some people recently bought it. And, and they've been fixing it up. We've been coming for about 10 years, so they've been fixing it up. It but was really sparse when we first started coming. There's yeah. not much here. And it's like kind of these desert hills, halfway between LA and San Francisco. Cow country. A lot of cows. But it's so pretty because it's like a golden desert. You guys will see, we'll take you with us on our little hike. So pretty. Actually, my digestion class is up in these hills. And one of the very popular, um, I think it was a coffee cup or something in a dome, is in the dome here. You, you know those classes, they actually are pretty uh, popular. And we were thinking about doing a, a workshop here, right? Yeah, that's still my option. So hi. Mercy or LA? What do you guys prefer? Post in the comments below. Where do you want to workshop? Ojai, Mercy Hot Springs or um, LA? There's That's the airstreams right there that we're staying in. And that's the dome. Uh, they took the sides down. You can still do yoga there though because yeah. it's still shaded. I think I will come here with Lodi because it's good for lo uh, crawling. Oh true. Yeah, While well, you're soaking I will come here. I'll do yoga and she'll crawl. Cool. And I'll chase her. Those are some of the hills though. It's just these kind of brown sweeping hills. In the spring it's real green. But that's how it is all around here. Um, and then these are all pastures. There's a bunch of cows. Like when you're driving in you'll see a bunch of cows everywhere. And sheep. We just saw, that was my first ever jackrabbit. And um, 
And was that bird? Th this oh, quail. Here. There's quail, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. And there's some kind of rare owl too here. So excuse a lot of bird watchers come. Oh, excuse my soccer mom head. Johnny said I look like his soccer mom. <laughs> I, I think I will. But but look, show, show them lotuses. Lotus is matching. We we are matching. Look at you guys. She doesn't like to keep the head on though. Yeah. Well, actually, you're sh shading her. These are old beehives. It's kind of cool. Uh, and there's honeycomb in there. Baby snoring. And look at this hills and hills of desert. It looks like uh, also like an ocean bottom. I've grown to appreciate desert more than anything else. his first uh, swimming pool. Uh, what, is, what is the temperature like? It's warm. Is it? Okay. This. <laughs> <laughs> will get one of those uh, The floaters? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, you're gonna love it. See, these are the hot springs here. These are new. These are about, about five years old? Yeah. These are... So this whole area they just built recently. And that's, that, that's the old quarters right there. They're fixing that up too. And then what's the property of this water? It's got a lot of boron in it, right? It has boron, I forget. Uh, of course it has sulfur. Uh, probably a little silica, they have a right up. I forget what it is healing for, but we've been coming here just for two days for many years, and every time we leave, we're charged with energy for weeks and weeks. Plus, it's very beautifying. I know that back in the day, the old Hollywood used uh, this water was bottled and they used it as a contraceptive. That's or a boron. That's because the boron, yeah. Yeah, that's a. Like it was something that they stopped doing obviously, but it was like something back in the day as a kind of trivia. Uh, the water is very detoxifying, very, very beautifying to the skin and very, I'm totally like doing a, an amazing pitch for the place and, um, and energizing. It, it will feel so good after you can it. You can look at the properties of the water online. Yeah. Uh, it's M-E-R-C-E-Y. It's not spelled like normal mercy because normal mercy, there's not the E, E-Y. Yeah. But um, you know, in Bulgaria, there's a study. I think in Japan and Bulgaria is the only places where they study spring water. So each spring has its own healing uh, properties. So this this has definitely. It's, I was saying it's real exfoliating. I think it's very deep. It's like very detoxing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's. I think it, it, it does flush your kidneys too. Uh, it has properties for uh, probably kidneys, liver. But I have to double check. And if you guys are curious how we're traveling. Here is the fridge. I'm traveling with a lot, a lot of fruit that's not in the fridge. We have some beer, shimei, some kombuchas, lettuce, um, cabbage, a ton of yogurts for Lodi and for Daddy. And I have bites and Beyond Meat Burger, which Johnny is currently obsessed with. I am obsessed with olives. Those are low sodium olives. Broccoli sprouts. It's too heavy to show you, but that's matcha tea. I have apples in there, dates, 
persimmon. Where is the persimmon? I brought four melons and trust me, I'll eat them all. And uh, oh, that's a whole bag of potatoes, maybe. Oh, oh no, that's ramen. Ramen noodles for Johnny. Lots of fruit for me. Pota a whole bag of potatoes, melons, etc. So we're good. We <laughs> we have a lot of food. That's what's left over from my dinner. Melon, mangoes, persimmons. What are you munching on? Kai Hill. Kai Hill. I love it too, but I was really craving melons. Breastfeeding craving. There's someone else that loves it too. Who? This one. <laughs> Look at Both of you. Oh, and she's helping us both with everything we eat. Here she comes. Kite Hill Monster. She loves it and it makes her very regular. It's so delicious. This yogurt is so rich and so delicious. It's ridiculous. What is it? Like, what's the base on it? Almond milk. Mm. It's just almonds and, and it's. Um, culture. I'm getting ready to make myself a veggie burger. Um, I was skeptical about this when I first heard it was coming out, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, these are veggie burgers based on what? Pr uh, pea protein? Yeah. And then soy free. Soy free. And then miyoko's with some romaine. And then the key ingredient is Dave's organic 21 whole grains and seeds bread. Uh, Dave's killer bread, but uh, it's real soft. It's I guess it's like a it's like that Hawaiian bread or or um, hala or you you have spring bread right in Bulgaria. What's like it called? Easter bread. It's Easter bread. Kuzanak. Kuzanak. It tastes like. It. So it's like real soft and really good and sweet. It's like Easter. Uh, it's like Italian Easter cake. So this is this is the key. Actually, I forgot the mustard. I usually put mustard on it too. And actually, I've been using what's the other cheese? The provolone. Oh, the dia provolone. I've been using provolone. And hummus sometimes. And here it is. And the provolone by Daya. You put it on top and it melts. That's yeah. Pretty, it's a pretty good experience. Especially yeah. with that Dave's bread. It's crazy. So that's the Dave's bread, the miyokos, lettuce, and also use mustard. Hummus works too. Well, whatever fits hey, you baby. Want, really. She's being a good baby and just plain. It's a little polar baby. <laughs> it's a little baby. We're gonna go into. Going out in the, in the cold. Cold, yeah. There she is, Polar Baby. <laughs> Come on, Polar Baby. Let's go. She can't quite roll around as much in this thing. All right, little burrito. And I can't wear my beanie. Because she gets scared. <laughs> Look, I can't wear this in front of her. Because she, she starts so crying. Scared. So when I come so in, scared. I have to take it off. Last morning, and we're cooking his last. Johnny's cooking his last burger. Um, Hopefully they have. He, they have day spread and these burgers and Santa, Santa Cruz, Cruz. Also, or else we're gonna have to head back home soon. <laughs> we're heading to, uh, to Santa Cruz where his mom lives and um, he's addicted to the bread. And baby, let me show you. Baby is sleeping. Right. 